The top 10 books for week 2. Number 1. Age Advice by Deepti Kapoor. A poor boy joins up with a ruthless rich family in this fast-paced thriller. A bit too long-winded but, but a whole lot of fun. 2. All the Dangerous Things by Stacey Willingham. A bereaved mother's year of sleepless nights is turned even more dire by percolating revelations about her past and present. People love violence from a distance, reflects the protagonist. This one's for readers who can love it up close. 3. Cold Six by James Ripando, an aspiring playwright's plan to base her first production on the secrets kept by her father's powerful IT term, firm, unleashes a Pandora's box of demons. High stakes espionage, family drama, double crosses, noble gestures, or better or worse, it's all here. 4. Night Wherever We Go by Tracy Rose Payton. A searing debut novel that explores the inner lives of the community of enslaved women in Texas in the decade leading up to the Civil War. Alternatively suspenseful and poetic, this novel marks the beginning of a promising career for Peyton. 5. Sam by Allegra Woodman a child's eye view of growing up with a single mum, a troubled dad and very slim resources. There isn't enough texture in its treatment of the many serious issues faced by this heroine to satisfy her readers. 6. Sleep No More by Jane Han Prentz A man who suspects he has witnessed a murder as a broadcaster but help solving the crime. A richly laid mystery full of pleasing paranormal elements from, his, from a master of the genre. 7. The Bandit Queens by Perina Shop. Bonds of sisterhood are forged through murders. Readers will appreciate, if not quite be riveted by, this tale of strength of women in in impossible situations. 8. The Black House by Carol Johnstone. Two stories separated by 25 years intertwine on an island at the far reaches of Scotland. A man tries to hide from who he used to be, and a woman tries to figure out if her man was murdered on the desert, desolate island the day she was born. This richly Evocative story exists at the point where love, fear, guilt, bad decisions, psychosis and mythology collide. 9. The Thing in the Snow by Sean Adams Snowy, nearly uninhabitable living conditions drive a team of caretakers stationed in a deserted research facility to the brink of madness. A fine, intriguing hybrid of satire and thriller. Number 10. The Villa by Rachel Hawkins. Past and present collide when two old friends spend a summer writing at an infamous villa in Italy. Hawkins manages to achieve the seemingly impossible, a Frankenstein inspired novel that feels both fresh and unique. Which one will you want to read? Let me know in the comments below.